hello guys hey, welcome to the video home and in today's tutorial i'll be showing you guys something very very interesting okay i know a lot of you have already made some suggestion that we should work on that particular thing which is um wall covering using ci2 and that's what we're doing today from this um view you can see already that i have some plant finishes okay like some wooden finishes on this particular wall and aside that we also have this um covering this opening trimmers all right so the the wood is not just that rough at the edge of the the window so you can see everything just coming out very clean and perfect so i'll be showing you guys how to do that but first of all you need to know some few things about it on um, in before you use wall covering in ci2 okay first thing you need to do is before you select that particular wall make sure you are on plan view okay very very important you need to know that make sure you're on plan view so let me remove this ones okay let me remove this ones and then i will do that let's do it together so first of all make sure you're on what on plan view so this is our plan view and then select those particular walls if you click on this one click on this one let me show you something let me show you why you need to be on plan view if you click on this wall now and you want to finish this particular wall once you click on ci2 um covering you see that this wall covering is not activated okay the wall two is not like the wall covering is not activated but once you go back to plan view and you click this particular plan um the wall click on the wall and you click on ci2 and then covering you can see that the wall covering is now activated okay so first thing you need to know is you need to always be on plan view before you click on the wall okay so now let's proceed let's proceed and then another thing you need to know which is very very key here okay very very key let me go back to the first thing you will see once you open your ci2 this is the first thing you're going to see okay so this is the first thing you're going to see and then under this split cladding click on the split cladding you see various options this one is saying no split that means you just want to finish the you want that particular covering okay that covering you want it to be on the entire wall Okay, on the entire wall and once you select below opening that means everything should be below opening like if you have a window here you can see from this um, um design from this view this sketch you're seeing that means you want everything to be below the opening and this one is above the opening this one is above and below the opening then the middle should just be like that this one we have at still um at seal seal height so that means this one should stop only at seal height you don't want the remaining part of the wall to have that particular um, finish this one is below this one is above this one is so just leave it at no split okay at no split you have something like this the entire wall okay now let's proceed to the next one we have um okay this is custom setting and then this particular board this one you're seeing is weather board so if you click here we have various options we have the generic this one is just plain finish and um, we have the board and buttons this one is another one so it all depends on what you want we have the brick and block this one is another finishing we have the corrugated of this corrugated is like this normal roofing sheet okay like those normal zizat roofing sheets okay, so this is what we have here but i want us to use this um weather board for this particular one okay so weather board then the next thing we need to select is the color this is where you select the color if you want it to be normal wooden finish if you want it to be black anything anything you want it to be okay so select that particular finish here so it's wood this one is light oak um if you just want it to be white or black it all depends on what you want so should we paint it black is black going to come out wrong okay let's paint it black and say it's going to come out like now let's move to the next one okay and for this one the setting is just okay a is 18 which is the distance from the wall to the finish and then we have b b is just like um the distance between the two board okay. all right on the next one we have the external corners on external corners where the like the 90 degree joint is okay between the two boards we have these finishes from here finish from here so this little covering at the edge so this is where you choose it you can use rectangular you can also use this paper so it all depends on which one you want so i like using this um rectangular okay so now but for this one okay you can see that the a which is the the, the length yeah the length is 20 um is 50 this other side too so that means if you want it to be 50 by 50 just leave it at 50 and then the 20 is the thickness from the wall okay and then c is zero we don't want any space in between that particular one so now let's move to the next one 
the next one, the next one, the next one, the next one, the next one. Remember the color is still this. Okay, we didn't change this one to black. So have that in mind. And um what's the next thing to do now? Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Okay, this one is very, very important. Okay, where your window is, if you want this three mask to be there, okay, like these things you're seeing, like a window hook, okay, if you want it to be there, make sure you activate it. So normally you see them on none, it will be on none based on default. So change it from none to rectangular, okay? So once it's on rectangular, change the B. B is normally is usually 20. Okay, so change it to 70. Okay, make it 70. Move to the next one. This one is the head. You can see the head trim. So move to the next one. This one is at the jams. Okay, at the jams. So change them to, to say make sure the B is 70. And then move to seal. Make sure seal to be 70. All right. And for the color, this is actually the color. But if you want to change it to white or you want to change it to another color, you can still do that. Should we use white? Let's try white and see how it's going to look like. Okay, 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 okay. So what's the next thing now? We don't want any offset from the window. All right. So I think these are just the for now. These are the major. Um, these are the the, the primary settings. Okay, the primary settings. As we proceed with the videos and other tutorials, we'll explain more. Okay, we'll go go deep into details to see what we can actually you know get more in this wall finishes using TI two. So now let's try. Okay, and see how it's going to be like. Now you can see. I will click here once you come like this click on this blue line you're seeing so we have for this particular space so now let's check our 3d and see what we have so you can see where we are this is not actually this is looking somehow okay okay this black is just somehow so let's change it to another color so let's go back let's go back let's go back this time around let's select all because we want to have the same effect on the whole of this wall at the front so let's select all the walls <laughs> And then click on covering ci2 covering um <laughs> wall covering and then let's quickly do some settings go back to cladding okay go back to cladding let's change that black color to another thing maybe something visible something visible so let's change this black to um should we use pants speech okay this one i think is okay and then does the this thing is white let's use something darker this one let's change the color let's change the color of this one okay let's use something deep all right so now we're selecting make sure you click on this blue line okay and then you're good to go so check your 3d now you can see based on the color we selected this is what we have and these are kind of wooden finishes but you can still use wood normal wood to make it show very well okay you can still use wood you can click on let's see if we can just quickly edit it from here yeah under cladding what i'm using to reduce one is that you can use um um, setting dialogs to edit so let's use normal wood and see how that one will look like so this is normal wood now okay this is normal wood so you can see we still have that same effect here all right so thank you for your time and i hope you've learned something all right if you have any question please do well to drop it in the comment section so don't forget to share don't forget to like see you on the next tutorial